Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show, and today we're talking about money and relationships. More specifically, Logan Paul Impulsive and his guest, Sophia Franklin. For those not aware of who Sophia Franklin is, with an F, she started the Call Her Daddy podcast years ago with Alex Cooper. Then they had a bit of a falling out, the two co-hosts split, and Sophia Franklin then went off on her own. But she's known lately, this has been uh, causing a lot of controversy, I guess, is she's been asking men how much money they have in their bank accounts on a first date. I'm not joking. I have asked the last three dudes I've dated for their bank account info on the first date. So in this podcast, she goes into a rationale behind it, uh, her thoughts on prenups, all this sort of stuff, and I want to comment on it. As soon as you hit the like button and subscribe, and also big thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video, but more on that later. Let's begin. What do you look for in a guy? Is it their bank account? Can we go? Can we please talk about this really quick? This clip went pretty viral. I mean, they had a Fox News, a panel of people talking about That's it. That's crazy. Why? <laughs> Here's what I think. I think people are always looking for something to get angry about, for something that just stirs controversy. And this is one of them. Now, I'm not saying it's it's tactful for, you know, if you're on a first date, for the person to ask, hey, what what's in your bank account? Let me see that. You know, it's just not quite uh, the most appropriate socially uh, acceptable thing to do. But you know what? It's honest. If, if she has a standard and that and that's hers and guys know what they're getting into with this, I don't see the problem. If you have two willing participants and both sides are happy with, you know, the guy showing his bank account, she's happy receiving the, the bank. I don't see the issue there. So the fact that people see this as a controversial thing, it is, but it's, it's not that big of a deal. But it, don't worry, it gets worse. Wait, so what did you say? <laughs> she said she said that the last three guys that she's dated, she asked all of them, was it the first date? On the first date, yeah. how much they have in their bank account? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of curious the reason why though, because it seems like she has a decent amount of money too. You know, like, like, like she's not on food stamps, we'll put it that way. She's doing pretty well for herself. Seems like she's making really good money. The way I kind of interpret this is that she wants someone who's going to be, uh, you know, superior to her. She's looking for somebody who is going to, you know, be a level up. And for her, if she has a million dollars, she wants to date someone with two million dollars. I'm not saying that's going to be the basis for her attraction with somebody else. But if that's her standard, you know what? I, I, I've just become so acceptable to so many things lately that if she wants a certain thing and someone's willing to provide that certain thing to her, I, I, again, 99.9% .9 of people are, are going to be turned off by that. But if she's going for that 0.1%, uh, statistically and figuratively speaking, then, uh, you know, so be it. It's a, it's a weird thing to ask for on a first date. We'll continue now. You'll say what exactly? I have to know. Can I see your bank account? <laughs> Are you rich? Are you rich? How much money do you make? How okay. much money do you have okay. in the bank? And do you guys see how funny that is? You're hysterically laughing. If he's not into it, I played off like a joke and I just seem like a crazy fun bit. I'm curious how many people actually are like, oh yeah, you curious? Here, uh, there you go. Is that, is that okay? It just seems like a weird thing for anyone to comply with. I, it's like anyone who who's, has self-worth would just be like, yeah, no, it's, it's just, you know, it, it is what it is, but I'm not gonna be showing you this on a first date. Right, so you just play it off. I feel like the guy should just play it off too. She can play it off as a joke. And they continue, and they just do their own thing. And they're both, ha I don't know, it seems to me like a bit of a test here, and She'll ask this, and if she receives it, then it's kind of like, oh yeah, this guy's just kind of like placating to whatever she wants. And then she knows at that point she can get away with anything. Do you guys take a girl out on a date without thinking she has the hottest bod and the hottest face? Oh, I'm thinking it, but have I ever said to her, yo, let me you, see that on the first date? But no. You're, but, you're so so lucky, yeah, like. <laughs> but you're so lucky that you can just see it. Here's the thing. I'm going to make a lot of assumptions here, a lot of generalities, but, but on average, Men, I think, are going to be more attracted to the physical attributes, just at first sight. Women, I think, on the other hand, will be more attracted to the guy's confidence, demeanor, uh, his personality, things like this. So I think we're playing a two different fields here, two separate universes, where it's personality, physical attributes, and then everything else after that 
then it goes deeper. But, you know, just at first glance, no, it's just like you could tell if a guy has confidence, if, if he's self-assured, if he's, you know, self-amused, if he has stuff going on. Like, you could tell pretty quickly if someone has, you know, their life going on for themselves. It's not something that a guy could reasonably hide. I, you know, I guess they could. But, uh, you know, you, you can only hide it for so long before the truth comes out. That's kind of what I think. If you went into a date knowing the only reason the guy was there to date you was because he thought you had a nice box or a fat ass or whatever. I know that's the only reason. No, it's not. What? There's a lot of guys out there okay. who are looking for partners. You know what? I guess it would be the guy equivalent of telling a girl, okay, you know what? Step on the scale because I only date girls that weigh less than 120 pounds. So you got to get on the scale. And if, if it's any higher than that, I'm out. I guess that's the equivalent of her saying, I want to see the bank account. If, if it's under $5 million, I don't see the point here. I, right? Is, isn't that kind of how it is? I guess if we put things, we flip them. It's about that. Maybe. I am so sick of people taking like a 10 second soundbite. Sure. And using it and rolling with it and just not including anything else. Headline culture, no context. Well, first, and just first taking, class yeah, culture, yeah. it's just, easy. I don't hear any other context from her other than that she asks guys how much money they have on a first date and that she wants a certain caliber of person to date. If she's gonna spend her time with this person, she wants at least that. I, I don't see the need for any other context other than that's her standard. She's entitled to that standard. And if a guy goes on a date you shouldn't be shocked if she's asking for bank account info. At this point, you could Google who she is and you'll see it. It shouldn't be a surprise at that point. Do you want me to look at yours? Do I get a second? <laughs> Do, well, now listen, now listen, now listen. I guess I understand that eating out is a category that people spend a lot of money on. Like going out to restaurants is extremely expensive, but thankfully you could now get restaurant quality food without the restaurant quality price, all thanks to our sponsor, Factor. They make meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity, helping you feel your best all day long. This is perfect if you're either too busy to cook around the holidays, or if you just want to cut back on dining out. With Factor, you could skip the extra trip out of the house while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Plus, their meals are ready in two minutes, so all you have to do is heat it up and enjoy. You could also enjoy the extra conveniences at any time of the day with more than 45 add-ons to suit various preferences and tastes. With this, you could choose from breakfast items like their delicious apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon and cheddar egg bites, and potato bacon and egg breakfast skillet. Or for an easy wellness boost, try refreshing beverage options like cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. For instance, when it comes to myself, I just like being able to eat a healthy meal that tastes really good without the inconvenience of going to the grocery store, buying something, or spending more money than I need to eating out. They're also really flexible, so you could easily adjust your order size, skip weeks, or get more if needed with just the click of a button. Honestly, their food just tastes really good, so you gotta try it out for yourself to see what you're missing out on. All you need to do is head to factor75.com or use the link down below in the description and use the code THEGSSHOW50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, that's factor75.com with the code THEGSSHOW to get 50% off. At that price, you may as well give it a shot before you forget. Enjoy. Thank you so much. And now let's get back to the video. This is in combination with a very nice home. Money so and stuff. Uh, uh, I, I oh my it. God, see those excuses. How do I know this isn't Photoshop? Yeah. I would give that a second date. I wish we could see how much is in there. Because here's the thing, okay? There's there's so many nuances. As a finance person, it's like you don't want to keep too much money just sitting in a checking account. Like typically in like a business checking account, you want anywhere between three months to a year's worth of expenses in a business checking account for you know for payroll for expenses. And it again, it really depends on the the business. Okay, three months to a year's worth of expenses business account, personal account usually three to six months worth of expenses there. Everything else is generally invested. It's not a good idea. If, if the dude has you know, $10 million in his checking account with no investments, that's dumb. It's probably not a good idea. But on the other hand, if he uh, you know, has 20,000 in his checking account, but like 10 million in investments, chances are it's smart, d depending on what the investments are, of course. But you know, I, I don't see what just a bank account would necessarily say about the person when you exclude stocks, retirement accounts, real estate, private equity. Like there's so many different things that they could have that just wouldn't be shown in a bank account. Do I? <laughs> it's yeah. 
Oh, you, there's no way you can say yes like that the same way to both of them. Like, his should have got a more. His I mean, should have got a more resounding. Like, his, you asked me second. His should have got a more resounding yes. You, you, yeah, she can't have the same reaction for Logan Paul as Mike Malak. There's, there's no way and, unless. Logan just has all of his money in investments, and Mike Malak has more sitting in cash. Maybe he's cash heavy right now. I don't, I don't know the details, but you would think the, the reactions would be slightly different. She's got a great poker face. Max, you've seen it in a bank account. Let me see your bank account, guy. How much did they have? I, I honestly thirty million, maybe. Oh, that's a pretty <laughs> solid, also, solid checking account. Yeah, okay. Too. Why is someone just carrying thirty million in a checking account? I feel like at that point it was just like faked. I guess she would know. You could kind of tell based on, you know, the demeanor of the person if that's going to be real or not. I, I just can't understand unless the person just sold their company and went on a date with her, why they'd have so much money in a checking or savings account. You, 30 million bucks, you'd probably keep it in treasuries. You'd probably keep it in, you know, a money market fund. You'd probably be investing a portion of it. You probably wouldn't keep all of it in cash. Maybe you would, though. Maybe 30 mil is like, you know, $1,000 to me. You know, so... I don't know. I'll leave it at that. I think if I'm going to get married, which I want to do, there is a great chance that it doesn't end up working out. He like cheats oh. on me and goes for a for a younger model. I know it's sad, but wild. but it's true. But it's true. She comes at this from the perspective of you know the guys that are dating her most likely are, are the same types of guys who would be sleeping around, would be cheating on her are really wealthy by their own means. They're getting a lot of attention. And, and that's what, you know, who she's surrounded by. She's not surrounded by the normal guys who just stay at home all day and, you know, don't live that sort of, you know, party, you know, extravagant lifestyle. She, she's exposed to a very small subset of people who tend to have a lot of options and they explore those options. So I'm not saying like, you know, what she's saying doesn't happen and that doesn't exist. I mean, it would be stupid to pretend that, you know, that d doesn't happen in our society. But at the same time, there's so many great people out there that I just don't think she's exposed to or that are so far outside of what she's experienced that, you know, maybe she's not into the accountant dude who's just, you know, makes a good living, owns a business, you know, not going out. That's not exciting to her and that's okay. But uh, you can't get the best of both worlds, most likely. It sounded like you started skewing in a weird territory when you're like, well, I want to make sure I'm set up because when that divorce happens, I need to check the fuck out, bro. I need my I bag, need, son. I need stability for my kids because I want to have kids. Got it. You don't need millions of dollars for stability. Honestly, stability, 60 grand a year, 80 grand a year, 100 grand a year, that's stability. That's pretty good. On top of what she's making, she's never going to make zero. For the rest of her life, she's got a brand. She's got great podcasting speaking abilities. She's got so many things, so many ways that she could make a ton of money. She's probably making a ton of money. I don't think she needs at this point to rely on anyone else. She's, she's got a maid. What are you bringing to the table? Successful, kind, funny, good looking, and a good person. I, I'm a, I'm a really good person, even though I say wild ass shit. I think that's really important. Those are, those are all things I believe. Yeah. Pretty generic list though. I mean, let's be real. How many people would describe themselves the exact same way as her? So here's the thing that then begs the question, what sets her apart from every other girl who says the exact same thing, but then doesn't ask you how much money you have on a first date in your bank account? How does she set herself apart from everyone else? So I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just, just putting it out there. What if this guy is that confident man? BDE takes her on a second date, third date, fourth date. You guys are going steady. And he goes, you know, Sophia, I think you're my life partner. I'd like to marry you. Uh -huh. As long as you sign this prenuptial agreement. <laughs> a million percent. You would? I, yes. What? what? That's not making a lot of sense. This. What's the importance of the 30 million bucks? Uh, and then I'd place a lot less importance on that. If, if she's not concerned about signing a prenup, then you would think that she would be less concerned about how much money they have and more so what they can provide, the lifestyle that they currently live. Because then she would kind of be absorbed into that lifestyle in a sense while she's also making her own money. You would think that she wouldn't sign a prenup. It's surprising to hear her say she would. This is the other thing. Men are scam artists. 
That's gonna <laughs> end up being a sound bite. That's gonna no. end up being a fucking sound bite watch. So she went from, you know, men are cheating, they're gonna leave her for a younger model, and they're also scam artists. So she doesn't speak very highly of men in general. So whoever's dating her has probably got an uphill battle. She, he's he's got to set himself up from everybody else, have a bank account, have the confidence, and then counteract some of the negativity that you're getting from here. That's another reason why I'm like, let me actually see the bank account. Because you could be out here dropping, you know, 1K on dinner and picking me up in a super nice car. Yeah, well, you know what? I get what she's saying here. She's basically saying she doesn't want people, like, flexing beyond their means. And then it's like all of a sudden, months later, it's like, oh, yeah, they're just financially irresponsible with money. They have nothing. But you know what? That doesn't necessarily need to be reflected in the bank account. Like, you could be responsible with money without spending $1,000 on dinner and doing all these things, uh, maybe less money in the checking account, but you're really diligent about, about saving, living below your means and all that great stuff. What if, you know, he gets in trouble for tax evasion and he fucks me and like, I have to give up 50% of my assets. Like there's, I just, there's always a chance that something this like, seems that, like a, that seems like a wild scenario. I just, yeah, but I'm sure a lot of that could be specified in a prenup that your assets are going to be separate, incomes are going to be separate, you have a, a joined bank account together. There's a lot of things that, like, she wouldn't be responsible if he's doing something devious, unless she's, I, I could be wrong here, unless she's knowingly participating in that. I can't see if, if he does something, how it would affect her unless she's involved in it. If they have money, are you willing to sacrifice your requirements in some other categories? Like, if they're beat, this dude's like a five. Mm-hmm. But he's got thirty million in his bank account. If he's good and bad, then we're we're fine. Wow. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. It's like you know, you could be a five, but like a ten in personality, a ten in wit, and like you know, I have all these other things that takes you from like a five physically. You could be like an eight. Like everyone, I I think has the power to move like three points on the one to ten scale, and you could do that by like taking care of yourself, going to the gym. Uh, you know, working on your humor, social skills, how you dress, just things like this can easily take you up. Likewise, you could be an eight, but just be like, just crappy. It's just like, you know, totally just defeatist, giving up on everything and be knocked down to a five. So I think everyone has some flexibility in terms of where they, they are on the scale. Would you rather marry a guy who is rich, buys you a ton of fancy shit like Birkins, brings you on dope trips, but cheats on you? <laughs> or marry a broke dude who can't buy you, but his tongue is called the finder 4000 he beats up your because he's mad at the world and he doesn't cheat i'm gonna say the first guy <laughs> here's why and here's why here's why this is why the red pill <laughs> community exists. No, 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 no. Listen. see she doesn't want someone idolizing her you know it's to me how i'm interpreting this and what do i know okay what do i know but i'm interpreting this as she wants someone who's not going to put her up on a pedestal, who's going to treat her like a human being who has his own life, he's doing his own thing, he doesn't need her whatsoever, he's choosing to be with her, she feels like, uh, you know, he's superior, he is, you know, uh, she, could, she could look up to this person, and she's along for the ride. That, that's what she wants. She's not looking for someone who just all of a sudden will, you know, clear out his entire day because she's around and like, you know, do I, th that's not her. Okay, that's not who she's attracted to, and she's very upfront about it. She's not gonna lie, she's just gonna tell it like it is, people are gonna be upset about it, but you know what, I, I bet a lot of people would be in the same position as her and never admit it. My mom has been Shout the out breadwinner. She's been married a few times, right? And those relationships didn't last for various reasons, one of the biggest ones being that she was the breadwinner. Now here's the thing, is it harder for men or women, okay? I'm gonna leave this to you guys to argue about in the comments section, because I could see it going both ways. One, maybe a lot of women are not attracted when they feel like they are in a power position in the relationship. I'm not, listen, I'm making very big generalities here, okay? Maybe it could be that, or it could be the guys get too insecure about it and they start acting differently and they start feeling insecure about it. And then, uh, you know, the, the partner feels that senses it, maybe gets some disgruntled comments about it, and it's like, why am I with this guy? What do I need this guy for? So I could see it going both ways. Now, what is it more? Is it the guys feeling insecure or is the women not attracted uh, because they hold the power? Which one is it? It could be, it could be both, uh, it could be one or the other. I tend to think, if, if I were to bet, I would say it's probably more so the guys feeling insecure, feeling inferior, acting differently because of that and kind of sabotaging the relationship. That would be my guess.
Okay, I could be wrong, but you guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna blame the guy in that one. Do you think most men prefer a supportive woman, woman or a leading woman? You tell me. <laughs> I've, al I've always- His girlfriend I've, does wear pants. That's a funny comeback. I don't know, Logan. You would know more about that than I would. I've always <laughs> found it attractive <laughs> when a woman is independent and can leave me at any second whenever she wants because she's her own personality and yeah it makes yeah. it makes me feel like we're we're both in it see i like the dynamic where you know both partners know they don't like need each other where it's like ah oh, i like it when both people want to be together but not out of a necessity it's just they just because they purely want to that i think is the most powerful dynamic if your partner made significantly more money than you would you be t would you be totally fine with that? I think we'd buy this apartment. So you'd be chill with it? Of course. Like, Are you sure? Dope. See, I have no idea why that would be a problem. Unless it's something where it's just like you feel, again, insecure that she could leave you and now all of a sudden she has power that she didn't have before and it's like throws, but I don't get the big deal. You know, be happy that your partner's doing well. So Damn, you don't you're... pick up the bill every time. No, I, I insist, yeah, I of insist. Course. Okay. Of course. How would you feel if she got up to use the restroom, gave you her credit card, and was like, "Here, baby." It's, like, it's, it's, it's happened. It's happened it's to happened, me, and, and I feel cool. incredibly grateful. Yeah. See, I, again, I don't see the issue. I think people are too sensitive about this. Who pays what? Who pays? It's come on. If someone wants to do a nice gesture. Accept it. It's a it's a kind-hearted thing. There's no ego involved here. Let's put that aside. You're with someone you're you're happy to be with. Leave it at that. I'm doing the majority of the lifting, but if we go to get coffee, sometimes you just jump in and put your card in the machine. The girl should throw in chip in just from a standpoint of like, yo, like I just want to show you that I'm I'm invested in this as well. I tend to agree with Mike on that. I think that's really important. I think there's got to be some sort of investment as a token of appreciation. It shouldn't be something where it's like keeping tabs of every dollar that's going in. And I, you know, in the big picture, it doesn't matter. It's not going to make a big difference. I, I agree with what Mike said completely. I just think it's a cheat, like low key, a cheat code for the women listening to this. Like on that first date, if you like, yeah, just something small, like just to be round. like, yo, like, you know, like, let me get this one. Like I'm telling you, the dude might not let you, but either he's not gonna let you and he's gonna be like, that was cool, or he's gonna let you and be like, that was cool. Mike is great when it comes to dating. I gotta say, you know what, if he just gave dating advice or like, you know, on a dating podcast or something like that, he'd be fantastic. He's given like real practical tips for men and women that are not like over the top crazy, that are gonna work in most situations. I, I think what Mike has to say has a lot of value. Would you, you can't really lose think a girl's this. cooler if she did that? If you were super into It's just her, a show. I just think it's just like a show of like, yo, I here's maybe the, like pull the, the rest of the, the room. Here's the answer. Bit. I'm going to answer for Mike. The answer is yes, it's cool. Also, it doesn't fucking matter at all. Completely okay, irrelevant. I, if she didn't, who gives a shit? He's going on a second date with the girl. That, that's what I was going to say. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. And also, big thank you again to Factor for sponsoring today's video. If you want to skip the restaurants, all that fancy stuff, you know what? Just share a nice Factor with her. The link to that is down below in the description. And they taste delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe. I, I got a paid affiliate link down below in the description where you can get some free stocks. Also worth up to a few thousand dollars uh, when you make a deposit enjoy thank you so much and until next time